on that morning. Getting ready to head down the road, go get us a job here. Just right around the corner here. The truck and duck show is in Sacramento. We're gonna be heading towards Eureka. Gonna take a little side trip up of Laytonville and look around the brand new town that MHJ Pro Map has installed. This filler has been in the sun too long. I need to get me a new uh, mod for that. We're gonna hustle over logs with some mighty fine looking logs. They sure are right there, Rusty. They sure are. Escape trailers. Nice looking log trailer. Driving my freight liner. 500 horsepower. Because I didn't figure we needed any more. Big old sleeper for Ralph to hang out in. That's right, that's right. Plenty of room. TV, refrigerator, and microwave. Got a dog's up bathroom. Yeah, what time I thought was out of the bathroom. Yeah, you throw one out of the bathroom, you're wrong. That's right. So we're off. Gonna take a load of loads on the big old load trailer. UPS sitting there every all the time unloading something. Busy bunch of people. Hello, subs. And viewers and all that stuff. There goes the ice cream truck. Everybody knows that, huh? And there's a garbage truck, too. Didn't fear you liked it. No, I'm not going to get run over their weight on us. We are on the road again. That's what I thought. Folks have been feeling a little better. A whole lot better, as a matter of fact. I was kind of worried I was feeling too good there for a day or two. But, uh, then I had to adjust some medicine. I feel bad for another two days and just medicine. Then I got feeling better. That's life. That's right, that's right, what you old? Ain't that old? Who asked you? Ralph. I didn't hear Ralph say nothing. I didn't ask him nothing. Ah, uh, Ralph, what day of Ralph's help? I'm not filming you damn squaggy duck. Stop chilling, Ralph. Let's enjoy this trip. We'll try to enjoy the trip. I'm gonna try to tell you a little story about the insurance claim. If I can make it through it. About an accident report. This one needs an introduction so you won't get lost in the beginning. This man was in an accident at work, so he filled out his insurance claim. The insurance company contacted him and asked for more information. This was his response to them. I am writing in response to your request 
for additional information for block number three of the accident report form. I put poor planning <clears throat> as the cause of my accident. You said in your letter that I should explain more fully, and I trust the following details will be su sufficient. I'm an amateur radio operator, and on the day of the accident, I was working alone on the terror section of my new terror. 80 feet tall tear. When I had completed my work, I discovered that I had, over the course of several trips up and down the tear, brought about 300 pounds of tools and spare hardware. Rather than carry the now unneeded tools and material down by hand, I decided to lower the lower the items down in a small barrel by using the pulley attached to the gin pole at the top of the tear, securing the rope at the ground level. I went to the top of the tear and, and loaded the tools and the material into the barrel. Then I went back down to the ground and untied the rope holding it holding it tightly to secure a slow descent of the 300 pounds of tools. You will note in block number 11 of the accident report that I weigh only 155 pounds. Due to my surprise of being jerked off the ground so suddenly, I lost all presence of mind and forgot to let go of the rope. Needless to say, I proceeded at a ra rather rapid rate of speed up the tower. In the vicinity of the 40-foot level, I met the barrel coming down. This explains my fractured skull and broken collarbone. Slowly, only slight, slowed only slightly, I continue my rapid ascent, not stopping, until three fingers of my right hand were two knuckles deep into the pulley. Fortunately, by this time I had regained my present of mind and was able to hold on to the rope in spite of the pain. At approximately the same time, however, the barrel of twos hit the ground and the bottom fell out of the barrel. Devoid of the weight of the tools, the barrel now weighed approximately 20 pounds. I refer you again to my weight in block number 11. As you might imagine, I began a rapid descent down the side of the tear. In the vicinity of the 40 foot level, I met the barrel coming up. This accounts for the two fractured ankles and the lacerations on my legs and lower body. The encounter with the barrel slowed me enough to lessen my injuries when I fell onto the pile of tools and uh, fortunately only three vertebrae were cracked and I'm sorry to report, however, that as I laid there on as I laid there on the twos in pain, unable to stand and, and watching the empty barrel at 80 feet above me, again, I lost the presence of mind and let go of the rope. Folks, we made a little detour here. We're going to go over to Laytonville, brand new town. Damn. Almost hit that brand new town on MHA Pro Map. We hear it's got an underground food storage, underground job location where you can take your food supplies and pack them in there and leave them. That's why they unload them, stuff like that. You don't believe much. I wonder if it's down that road right there. That's your ref. I ain't never been here before. Yeah, I'm a 
full of stuff. Nice. If we sneak around here right quiet, they might not catch us too well. 
Nah, they know we ain't your rush. Uh, you know they got guards and cameras and all that kind of stuff watching you. That's a right route. They wouldn't want us load up nothing to take with it. That's right, that's right. I gotta have somebody watch this place. Yeah, that would be good job for me. That wouldn't be no good job for you, Doug. You'd be asleep. That's right, I can't never tell about you. MHA pro out people. By heavy alleys. Next release. A few new towns, a few new surprises, this and that. I think we'll call this part one and, and end it right here and get back on the road to the other city. Rusty truck, crazy dub, and old Ralph. Come back and see us, y'all.